Ich das da mal. Okay, hello everyone. This is a League of Legends match between the Social Gaming Club and Spiritual Sky at the of the University of Illinois. The winner of this match goes to the finals of a tournament that we're holding, which will be which will be held on Sunday and will be streamed at the same location. Um, for this first game, we are going to have Social Gaming Club as the blue and spiritual sky is the purple. I am Henry Cow, aka Chill Yeoman, and joining me is the lovely Kathy Chen. Oh, you called me lovely, so sweet. <laughs> yeah. If, uh, hello, yeah. everyone. My name is Kathy Chen. I'll be helping out today. Um, the first band that we see coming in from the SGC side is Uder, followed quickly by a band on Morgana. Yeah, um, the, both these teams know each other pretty well, so the bands are gonna be targeted. Um, Udio is a targeted band, Morgana is not, uh, not only a targeted band, but also a good band in general. Uh, we see Twisted Fate coming out from the social gaming club team. And then um, this is definitely Shen a coming out. Band. Okay. And Shen from from Spiritual Sky. Yes. Shen, so. I'm not sure what they were thinking with that one, but well, it is Shen's a good it, band. Band in general, yeah. yeah. Twisted Fate is obviously a targeted one because you usually don't see much, much Twisted Fate, but. Well, uh, in high level play, you see quite a bit of Twisted Fate because um, just of his ability to contribute so well to games with his teleport and yeah. ultimate ability. Ramus Band from Ramus. Not only is this a generically good band, it's also targeted as well. Mm -hmm. Ramus is just a jungler that Social Gaming Club doesn't seem like they want to deal with. His taunt is still very powerful even after all the nerfs that he has received. Um, we'll see what the last ban is quite shortly. So, just to recap, bans Uder targeted against, I think, that's Schwan. Organa targeted against Gaywad. Twisted Fate, uh, whoever their AP player, that's, that'll be against Shen, just so that they get rid of him. Ramus, and our final ban is Shaco. So the bands are Udio, Twisted Fate, Ramus, Morgana, Shen, and Shaco. Um, okay, so we're going to go into the picks now. Um, Social Gaming Club to start. And they're going to first pick Shivana. So, um, a, uh, so a bit uh, uh, of a surprise, usually you don't like to pick your junglers and top laners first. Because they can be countered relatively easily. Oh. But in this, but in this case, they seem to feel confident that they can pull this off. Shivana also, since since most of since since these teams know each other relatively well, Shivana is also a good pick because there are multiple players on the social gaming club team that can actually play Shivana. So they don't. So it doesn't really reveal who the jungler actually is. So that's, that's very that's, true. That's, that's a smart true. choice as well. Shivana is just a solid pick in terms of jungling speed. Um, and then we see the Malphite and Janna pick coming out from the Spiritual Sky team. Janna is just a good overall pick when you don't want to reveal anything because she has a large amount of power as a support. She's, I, I feel that she's like the best support in the game right now. Malphite can be jungled, but most of these days he's seen as top lane. And I wouldn't uh, I would imagine that SGC would like to pick an AP against that Malphite just to counteract the armor that he yeah. would be stacking. I feel, actually, this Malphite is probably a jungler because okay. their, um, their jungler plays Malphite. Never um, mind about that. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, I don't know about... We have picks Soraka and Graves. Um, so that's the bot lane. Yes, so uh, strong, very strong. Yeah. I mean, 
We know that Inquisitor is very strong on Grave, so he'll get to play his favorite AD carry. Um, Wise Guy or Lord Crystal 2 will be on that Soraka, and I think that in laning phase we'll see her just feeding him lots of mana so he can continue to push that lane. Um, now that you mentioned that that Malphite is a jungle, I just wonder, what is Malphite's clear speed in comparison to Shivana? Malphite's clear speed? I mean, Shivana just overall has an extremely high, high clear speed, that's why he, she, she's generally considered to be a counter jungler, but Malphite, it's... It's relatively low, but it's workable. Mm -hmm. The clear speed is low, but he's really safe in his jungle because of that shield. That's true. Um, I'm, I would have to see the rest of the team comp just to figure out how the lanes and ganks are going to work. Yeah. But Shivana might just spend all day just, ooh, Ashen, Ashen Fizz picks. Um, so Ash is Majana bad. is pretty strong. Yeah. And then Fizz for the middle. Yeah. So we'll see what K1 like, want, would pick to counteract that Fizz. And one of the social gaming club players saying, if you have new skin, I will skin you alive. And they confirm we do not have the skin. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah. For those of you that don't know, Fizz did come out with a new skin today. A fisherman fizz skin where he basically gets an earth instead of a shark. So, yes. So, Malphite, Janna, Ash, and, and fizz. fizz. Yeah. That is, that is actually really good. Oh, I misspelled Malphite, but that is really good initiation on that team. You have Ash Arrows straight into Malphite, Knockup, and Fizz Sharp. <laughs> this is a long story. Okay. What does it your is. ID mean? Asked one of the players. Um, okay. Meanwhile, from Social it's Gaming Club, running out their uh, team with Necton and Kennen. Kennen. Um, what was the rest of their team? Shivana, Shivana, Swarka, Grave, and Swarka. So, like I said, I would have expected um, Lord Crystal to, to to be <laughs> to uh, to be the Shivana, but as we have, but because multiple players on this team can actually play Shivana, it's gonna be Gaywat, I assume. Okay, so we have Malphite, Janna, Ash, Fizz, and Olaf versus Renekton, Kennen, Shivana, Graves, and Soraka. Yeah. These are very interesting lane compositions. Like, bottom lane, Graves, and Soraka versus Janna, Ash. That might be a just farm and push lane. Because, like, Ash, I don't know. I feel like Ash really needs da items to do damage. Um, and I feel that they really want that gen just to keep the Ash safe, but it really isn't going to be too much action. Um, oh, okay, so... One of the players needs a moment, so... Okay, so I guess gonna... we'll just talk about team comps more, yay! Okay. okay. Let's see. Malphite, Janet, Ash, Fizz, and Olaf. That's going to be very strong in terms of initiation. Um, and then they have really good counter initiation with Janna. Um, I don't know in terms of poking, they could lose that poke war because they don't have any sustain. So if SDC was able to use Graves and Kennen to poke them down, they could. Wait, uh, Graves Kennen? Oh yeah, Graves because Kennen's going to be the yeah. yeah. SDC could use Graves and Kennen to siege them down and hopefully uh, begin team fights with an right. upper hand, but. Uh, yeah. In terms of damage, uh, Olaf does quite a bit. Fizz also does quite a bit, just because he's yeah. an assassin. Fizz, Ash, Olaf, Fizz, Ash, Malphite are really good AoE uh, 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 initiators, so yeah. they can just initiate and then start tearing them apart. From yeah. the SG side, um, it's gonna be a lot more sustainy. Obviously, Kennen doesn't have to worry about mana. And Suraka just kind of can do what can kind of just do 
Savaka things, I guess. <laughs> Basically, just give yeah. Grave mana, give Grave yeah. health, and just have him stay in lane as late game. It's, like it's interesting to note it. that um, the SG team actually only has two characters that actually use mana, so blue buff is going to be. Well, what I give the blue buff is going to be. You would just give the blue buff to Graves. I guess blue either buff? Graves or like, Soraka, because yeah. Soraka can't give herself mana anymore. That's it's true, weird, but like, blue buff is just a lot, well not a lot worse. Blue buff is still useful for the CDR, but in terms of mana regeneration, since that cut down in half, that like, blue buff yeah. got really hurt by that nerf. My experience though is, unless you're like spamming Cassidy's R, or you are... Um, or your like Malthazar or something. For the most part, it's still man. It still is a substantial amount. I mean, it's obviously a substantial. Oh, yeah, it, it's still a it substantial really helps, but, but it just doesn't help as much as before. Yeah, <laughs> but still, on a lot of champions, you can just spam your spells. So this food will uh, increase energy that. regeneration as well. It's a little bit, I think. But since energy regenerates so quickly anyway, it doesn't. It's not really noticeable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, point five percent of their max energy per second. So yeah, I mean, I guess you could give it to Cannon just to like give him lower CD so he can just yeah. like shirk him more. So yeah. we'll see. But I don't know. I really feel that um, the SGC team outpick themselves. Lord, I feel that they counted themselves because if we look at their team, Renekton, Shivana, Graves, their damage is, that's a lot of 80 heavy damage. And then we have Janna Shield and the Malphite Shield to just block a lot of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. I had, okay. I'm trying to see how they're going to keep Graves safe because... Ash can be kept very safe. Olaf is definitely going to just dive straight for the cannon or dive straight for the graves whenever team might start, uh, along with Fist as well. But in terms of keeping Ash safe, you have Janna and Malphite to peel off that Ash. If you look on the SGC team, you've got Graves, and he's protected by Soraka, who basically just protects him with heals and silence. And I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I don't go past that. Yeah, I don't know. I can see past that. <laughs> Why does Spiritual Sky have a, such a strange symbol? Well, what happened was I had asked the coordinators to give me stuff, but apparently, like, to give me, like, logos that they would have so that I could put them up, but they kind of didn't. So I was like, what looks cool and is light blue because I thought like spiritual sky, it's sky, so it should be like light bluish. So I'm like, what looks cool and light blue? So well, you got the spiritual part, so that should be a cross instead of a V. A v. Yeah, but it's an Asian team. I don't know if they're Christian, but it looks I'm cool, and that's why I made it that way. <laughs> so okay. You know, let me fix that statement for you. You think it looks cool, and that's why it's that way. Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> so, the teams are back in, and we're gonna start. Oh, shit. Jungle Janna. Okay, never mind. That's not a jungle Janna. <laughs> <laughs> Okay then, let's let's go through this. For the SGC side, we have um, Inquisitor playing Graves. We know from past experience that Graves is his go-to AD carry, so him having that is gonna really hurt Spiritual Sky. He is running a heal flash, so I think he expect expects this to be a sustaining thing rather than bringing ignite or exhaust. He brought heal. I mean, heal is pretty good on the AD carry. Yeah. Um, especially since Soraka herself is being played by Gaywad. Wait, what? Oh, oh, actually, um, Gaywad, Gaywad has decent okay, success. Sor no, Soraka is the only support that Gaywad knows how to play. Yeah, 
He actually does have decent success.